Hi booktube, I'm here today to talk about my favorite plays. I have a, a wide interest um, and I'd like to share some of them. Uh, so first off is a play called Life is a Dream by Calderon. It's a play written in 1635, sorry, um, and it's a Spanish play. Um, let me just give you a quick summary and two words, defenestration and philosophy. That's what happens in this play. It is hilarious, but it addresses some really serious topics. Um, so it's basically about a king who locks up his son at infancy due to a prophecy, but feels bad about it later on, and then releases his son who, after being chained up in a tower for most of his life, has grown into a monster. Um, and then the king realizes that he's made a huge mistake. He drugs the prince and puts him back in the tower and has some people try and convince him that it was all a dream, that he's not really a prince, that he wasn't really released, that he is still locked up in this tower. Um, and I like this play because it does that, um, that has that bit of humor that, uh, addresses such serious issues. The second play um, that's one of my favorites is The Miser by Moliere. Um, this is written in 1668. It's a French play. It's a rewrite of a similar classical play by Plautus. Um, and I really like this play because I love a bad guy who's a bad guy for no reason. He's just bad. Um, so this book is about Harpagon, who's obsessed with money, he loves it even more than his children, and is willing to do anything to get more and just kind of hoard it. Not to spend it, just to keep it. Um, he's very miserly, hence the name of the title of the play. Um, it's the first play I actually saw in a theatre um, that wasn't one of those ones that you go to when you're in school. It was, you know, me going to the theatre to see a play. Um, and the actions the cast made were, that were not a part of the script really added to it, and I thought it was really funny. They did a lot of, um, I can't remember the term, um, a lot of slapstick kind of humor stuff t t added to it. Um, I think you can see this theme here that I really like kind of funny plays. Um, but now we're about to get a little more serious. Um, the third play that I really like is actually called Zoo Story by Edward Albee, who's more known for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. But the Zoo Story was actually the first play that I encountered by him. It was written in 1958. Uh, it's an American play. And it's a one-act play where a man gets approached by a stranger who tells him about his visit to the zoo. Um, and there's a great big twist in it, and I don't want to tell you about it, because uh, I don't want to spoil it. But it's one of those plays I think everyone should encounter early on in their in their s studies, um, especially if you're studying English, um, because I think it really approaches some um, ideas that are essential to critical thinking. Um, and I can't say too much more because it will really, like, the reason you watch or read the play, or however you uh, cons consume it, um, boil it, steam it, I don't know. Um, you ha the reason is for that that twist at the at the end that is just like why did that happen kind of uh, thing. Um, then the fourth play I want to talk about is Dollhouse by Heinrich Ibsen. It's an 1879 Norwegian play. Um, Ibsen is considered the father of realism, um, and this is actually. Um, what I would consider a feminist play, especially for its time. Um, it's the story of Nora. She's an unhappy housewife. Um, she's constantly belittled by her husband, um, and she ultimately decides to leave everything behind and go out on her own. And this caused such a controversy that many theaters, um, if the play was put on as it was written, um, people would, would storm out and, and say horrible things about it. Um, <clears throat> or later on when it was going to be performed, it had to be rewritten re so that in the end, um, Nora either decided to stay or take her children with her or something like that. Um, 
So this was a very kind of, I th think it was a groundbreaking play for its time. And number five is a piece of meta theater, and it's called The Three Penny Opera by Bertolt Brecht. It's another adaptation. I seem to really like these. Um, and this one is based off of The Beggar's Opera by John Gay, which was written a while ago. <laughs> um, I don't have the date in front of me, so I don't know. Um, but this play is written in 1928, and it's a German play, if you can't tell by the very German name of Bertolt Brecht. Um, it's an absurd uh, play. It constantly breaks the fourth wall. Um, there's musicals. Um, it's really the the uh, I think it's really a really good example of the absurdist um, play. Um, and it's it's funny. It's musical. It's it can be hit on in so many different ways. So like the boxing of of the play, the the way the the actors are on stage. Um, I think there was one production where they didn't move at all. They just kind of talked, and then they have like these big absurd um, props and everything like that. So it's really like a a play that can be really adapted in in interesting ways. And it's also the origin of the song "Mac the Knife," which is done over and over and over again by different people, uh, most notably by Frank Sinatra. Um, so those are my top five favorite plays. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite play is, and remember to keep on reading.